So just to recap, last week we ended with me starting to fit the rechrome brightwork in preparation for the car's appearance at this year's classic restoration show, the NEC. But before we continue with the rest of it, my mate Kenny turns up for the refitting of the windscreen. It was a bit of a faff, as we decided the best way was to fit the chrome into the new rubber, fit it to the screen, tape it up overnight to help it mould into shape, and then refit it the next day. <laughs> Easier said than done. If you get the slightest bend in the chrome during the removal, it's a real ball ache getting it to fit down into place. And the job becomes a real nightmare. Also, just so you know, I didn't remove any of the dash to do this. But eventually, as the night drew in, and so did the windscreen, job done. Now, I won't tease you anymore, so back to that chrome. So I just want to show you this guys, what a top job they've done, Douglas Cronin. Remember this bit was all pitted, right the way across the top. Look at that, it really is a first class job, that's absolutely flawless. I'm over the moon. So on with the new seals. And when they're on, Bumpers can be reassembled, ready for refitment, and on they go. Those spotlights go back on. Remember those brand new track rod ends are fitted? Don't forget to grease them up. And voila! And then we're round to the back. So, I don't know whether you remember, I purchased this brand new rear exhaust box from Intracard. It's a remanufactured part, but as you can see, it's going to replace this, this dreadful pattern part that's been on here. And it's actually been welded on at some place near the back. So, I've got my work cut out, cutting all this off and replacing it. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm also going to replace the shock absorber. It's kind of like um, an exhaust hanger shock absorber. Stop all them knocking noises from the back. Uh, this was remanufactured by Intracar and it's a part that they're particularly proud of. So I'm going to fit a new one of these. And just to top it all off, the all important chrome piece at the end to finish it off and set it off against that re chromed rear bumper on the rest of the chrome and it should look the part. Anyway, today I'm also going to strip and repaint the bonnet, freshen that up a little bit. Uh, so to polish the whole car, flat and polish that, just get it all looking nice and presentable. So as you can see, I've got my work cut out, so let's crack on. As I said, for some reason, the rear box had been welded onto the rest of the exhaust system by its previous custodian. So I'm just gonna carefully cut it off and weld in a sleeve to enable the fitment of the new one. See the way it just hangs on a Jubilee clip? This old one's probably been there since the car was new. A quick clean up. And 
new earth wire. See it in position there? Baffled, but whatever. That'll do. And when the back bumper finally goes on, there's the payoff. Just watch it pop. Wow. Remember that old bonnet I had sitting in the corner for all those months? Well, I knew I'd be able to put it to some use. See, when I did the original paint job on the Rolls Royce, it was fine for a couple of months and then a reaction started coming through on the bonnet. So I'm going to respray this one and swap it over. This is something I intended to do for some time now. It was just a case of getting around to doing it. So I then start the preparation and the monotonous process of filling, sanding, blocking, primer. And it's just one of those jobs that takes as long as it takes, trying to get it as perfect as you can, because if you don't, once you hit it with the paint, any imperfections will show and be highlighted. So the prep, along with the quality of the materials you use, are the most important aspect of any paint job, as well as the conditions you paint in, of course. And then it's off to see my mate Simon at Auto Renew. Hi Gary. Hi Sai. Si. Okay. You all right? Going. How's it going? All oh, good, yeah. Busy, busy. You so, okay? I'm all right to use your oven, yeah? Of course, yeah. You're not too busy today? Today I've done a full side on that, full driver's side, just had an accident repaired one. Is that your paint mixing room? Two spray boobs and a mixing room in the middle, yeah. Gun washers. We mix all the paint there. So that one's for that one. Less than all, that's Diner. Both similar sorts of products, both water based. So, yeah. what you just take a little panel off, like a little fuel filler cap or something? Yeah, and then you've got the camera. Put so it you, on there, yeah. So, that's the spectro. You scan the panel, scan it in a few ways, and then that gives you the formulation. Yeah. You can scan absolutely anything. So, the cup goes on there, scan that to the laptop computer, and then gives you the formulation. There's about seven sensors in each colour. Yeah. And you've got to and get it exactly it, the right exactly ground. Count, counts down, yeah. yeah. So say it's on like 98, it counts down to zero or whatever. And then does it go on a mixing machine or something? No, just stir it up yourself and straight into the gun, that's off. Water base, yeah. off, off you go. Yeah. You've got all the proper fans that suck everything out and yeah, the, yeah. the filters all, and all, all that. All filtered, yeah. So you're all right, you're not, you're not rusty, you're all right cracking on doing this on your own. Yeah, I mean, you, sure. sort, you sort of forget what you're doing, don't you, when you haven't done it for a while, but you don't, pick it up within an half few, an hour. A few pointers now. Yeah, I'm not sure you will. <laughs> no, you just get it to a state where you're basically happy with it and then you just hit it with the paint. So, what are all these in for? Are these all like damage repairs that you've bought and you're doing up? Or? Yeah, that's my own. That's my lads. It's a little MX5. Oh, yeah. So, it's just getting a pull on a jig. Yeah. Legs are bent a bit. I knew um, you when you were like an apprentice in another place, didn't I? Years ago. In town. Yeah. I ain't had motors, wasn't how, how long is it? Have you been so, now? I was there, I'm 45 now, I was there when well, I, was, on the years, I, was, I was there when I was um, 16, I think I was on £35 a week. Yeah. Um, what about me when I was a butcher? 30 quid a week for a 62 hour week mm. and a chicken. I ended, so up, you, I ended up, went to a garage in Garston and then just waking me up, a few little body shops and then I went mobile. Um, You're doing well, Si. Mm. It's always mad busy. I saw Tony Bell, you were here before as well. 
Yeah. Big staunch Evertonian. Comes in now and then, yeah. Little yeah. Bit. So these are your toys, yeah? Wow. wow. The Lambo, yeah. yeah. I've had it a few years, yeah. Actually, I've seen this at Cars and Coffee on the dock. Yeah, I'll try and go there when I can. Um, but yeah, Look they got, got this in lockdown. That's fabulous, that, isn't it? It just stays in here, to be honest, doesn't it? Um, really come out. But you use it, don't you? Now and then, yeah. But What's that, an Evo? That's, that's me proper baby, that one. But that's an Evo 6, yeah. I've had that for about 10 years. It's only got 30,000 miles. That's a rocket ship, these, aren't they? Yeah, it goes well. Um, have you seen the bonnet? Have a look. Don't rip me now. <laughs> so you reckon it's ready for paint? It's almost there, yeah. Oh, I've seen the stuff you do. It's uh, that's off to you. It's good, aren't it? Do you know what? I had a little reaction on the bonnet that's on it. It just sort of came about about a on year after I painted one. it, yeah. Mm. And it's right on that corner. I thought, you know what? I'll be on that a week trying to get You'd that probably curve have to just right. Either. Yeah, I know. And you know the score, Rolls Royces, they got like 15 or 20 yeah. coats of paint, so if you bare metal in it, like, set a couple of weeks aside. Mm. And a couple of tins oh. of paint stripper. Are you so doing um, base and clear? Yeah, two pack. base and two pack clear, yeah. Um, so, how does it work anyway? So it's like, a big, it's like a big boil at the back, flame, naked flame, and then that generates the heat, and it's got flaps and big massive funnels that close over to make the spray and bake work. But yeah, it just it just forces the air from the top through to the back. So I'll let you get on anyway. All right, no worries. Nice one. Some more for a couple of hours, yeah. Yeah, just uh, fill your boots and give us a shout if you get stuck. All right, nice one. Nice one. See you in a bit. See you later. Final check over. Make sure I'm happy with everything. I thought I'd wipe down with some degreaser. On with the oven. On with the fans. And we're ready to go. Safety first. On with the mask. And we're in business. Make sure you cover all your edges first. Followed by a first light coat, and then a heavy coat, then another light coat. But make sure all those repairs are nicely covered. Don't get gung ho, just take your time. Nice, even coats. When you're happy, you're ready for the clear coat. I'm going to leave this in the oven overnight. And in a couple of days' time, when it's properly hardened right the way through, I'll give it a nice flattened polish. But back to the Lotus. As a bit of fun, I decided to split the car down the middle, mask off one side, and just polish up the other side, just to give people an idea of what it might look like when the car's done. A kind of before and after. And 
trailer arrives, it's off to the NEC. And now back to that bonnet. Let's give it a nice flat and polish. Sometimes things just don't go to plan. So the day before the show, I get called to London unexpectedly. So can you believe, after all our hard work, I didn't even have time to fit that bonnet. <laughs> oh well. But the Rolls Royce did manage to make the show, with me arriving with just two minutes to spare before they closed the gates on the loading bay at the NEC. Well, the Lotus arrived okay. Do you know what? Looking around, I think we're in for a great weekend. Thank you for watching this episode of Classic Obsession. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And join me next time when I give you the full NEC Classic Car and Restoration Show experience.